He worked in virtually every metro school over the past four years, often around students. Tonight, this district employee is accused of trying to arrange sex with a child. News Channel 5's Nick Barris spoke with the vice agents who went undercover to catch him. And in a twist, rescued a baby at the same time. Detectives with the Murfreesboro PD's Special Victims Unit set a trap for the suspect at this restaurant on Chafin Place. But there was a problem. He showed up with a nine-month-old child. Police say Brian Keith Watson was after something sick. They ran across this ad where an individual was asking uh, mothers for uh, anyone who would be interested in teaching their children how to have sex with adults. Detectives set up a sting corresponding online with Watson for more than a week before arranging finally to meet at this restaurant. Police say Watson showed up thinking he was going to meet a mother and her 12-year-old daughter and then go to a motel for sex. Detectives were ready to move when Watson, a large man, 6 foot 4, 230, walked in, but in a bizarre twist, he had his baby daughter in tow and they feared for her safety, so. Detectives had to continue to play the role of uh, the person offering their child for sex. They offered to hold the child, hey, let me hold your child, let me have your child for a second. All was a ruse to get the child into safe custody so that we could place this individual in, under arrest. The 39-year-old Watson is charged with solicitation for rape of a child. Metro Nashville schools confirm he's worked for the district since 2013 as an electronics technician. Watson's been placed on leave from the school district, and he is in the Rutherford County Jail on $75,000 bond. The investigation is continuing. Detectives confiscated hard drives, cell phones from this married father of two. There is concern that he may have tried to target other potential victims. In Murfreesboro, Nick Barris, News Channel 5. As an electronics technician, Watson visited schools on an almost daily basis doing maintenance and repair. A district spokesperson says Watson did not have a history of trouble on the job. We've asked to review his personnel file. 